Okay, I've had to have music going on over my little montage because I didn't want to be copyrighted with all my Christmas music, but slowly coming together this actually very quickly. This is like the easiest recipe ever, but I found it on Pinterest. Actually, my sister did, and it literally is just cilantro, corn, green onion, red onion, tomatoes, lime juice, salt and pepper, and black beans. Easy peasy, almost done with it, and I'm gonna use these crackers right here, or chips right here, tortilla chips, and then I'm bringing these pretzel crisps and some hummus. Look how good it looks so far. Well, actually it's done. It's completely done. Look how good it looks. Yum. Okay, I'm getting ready. I'm going kind of for more casual look. Um, thank you so much, Flip, for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna show you guys this. I found out about this slicked back. This is called Quick Slick, and it's by insert name here, and you basically just like, it's basically like a spoolie, and it slicks back your hair. I mean, we're gonna do it, obviously, but this app called Flip, ever since I learned about it, I'm like, this is literally, TikTok, Instagram, all of it combined is how I find out what products I want to do because you can do all of the different reviews that people like upload using that product. Here's a look at kind of what the app looks like. It's basically like all of the different products that you would find in Sephora, all of the different reviews that you would typically see on TikTok. And then you can have a community on here just like you would on YouTube and you can order directly through there and have fast shipping just like Amazon. Okay, I'm currently in the Flip app to show you guys what it looks like to do a review based off of something that you've purchased so here are all of the different products that I bought through flip so I'm gonna do one on quick slick and then show you guys what the review looks like but this shows that it's not like a lot of the other apps where it doesn't have bots for ads and bots for reviews so that you are able to see honest reviews based off of what people have purchased through flip what's different about this app unlike TikTok or unlike shopping on Sephora or on Amazon is that you literally can make money by scrolling or by making your own review. I did a review on the Quick Slick Hair Essence, which here is my little review clip. All of the reviews looked like their hair had no flyaways, but it also looked like it. And I personally was influenced to purchase this Quick Slick by one of the other reviews. So I figured that this would probably help others to kind of see how the product works. So for this one, I was like scrolling through here and I found this review of the Quick Slick and it's this girl like showing all of her flyaways and so let me show you. So that's her using it and I was like, wait, that worked so well. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, I also ordered another thing from there. I'm forever looking for new self tan things, which you guys know. So I got this self tan brush, blending brush from Tanologist, and this girl is the one who <laughs> influenced me to get it. I always have issues with figuring out how to tan my face, so I ended up doing a review on it after I did it myself. So I started using this Tanologist self tan and I was realizing that I was using this same mitt. And I will be able to make rewards off of just posting reviews like this, which I would have done on TikTok anyways. But another one that I did is this Glow Easy and it's vitamin C lip oil. And they say it's a dupe for Dior lip oil, which you guys know, I've shown you guys a couple times. You guys probably know by now that Dior lip oil is one of my favorite lip glosses and it is always sold out. Every single time I go into Sephora, I am on my last few drops of that freaking Dior lip oil. Um, so I'll show you this one. This girl goes on there and she says that this is a Dior lip oil dupe. I'm like, sold, sold. So we're going to give that a shot too, but first let's slick back our hair into a slicked back braid. Pull this back. Basically the flip app is like all of the things combined. Like I go into Sephora, I get a little bit overwhelmed, but normally what I will do is I will go to TikTok and I will find my products that I am influenced to buy before I even go into the store. So you can buy them directly from the flip app and you can download the flip app for free or you can go to flip.shop slash Sydney Adams to get 30% off your first order. All right, let's give this sucker a shot. So I want like this, wow, that already worked so well. I want like the slicked back look without it looking greasy, you know? 
Wow, this looks so good. And then we'll also, while we're at it, I'll put on the Dior lip oil dupe. Oh, I'm pretty. I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror. <laughs> Thank you so much, Flip, for sponsoring today's video. Also, look how good this braid looks. I don't think it's ever looked better. <laughs> I was originally going to wear this, but I think that I'm going to change. Well, I was going to wear my New Balance 550s, not my slippers, but I think I changed my mind, so time to go choose a different outfit. But if you guys were curious, this is what I was wearing while I was prepping my food, so now we have an outfit change. Jay brought out his green pants for Christmas. Christmas. I love this outfit. Actually, this is so stinking cute. I mean, I always like your outfit. I said, I said actually, but it always looks good. Thanks. And that shirt is from Flag and Anthem. Yes, Flag and Anthem quarter. I don't even know if you'd call it a, a Henley. Quarter, I yet. suppose. I like to call it a quarter button up. Quarter button up. And then these are Lululemon. ABC. And some fresh Air Forces. Is this your first time wearing these? Yes. This, They're fresh out the box. If there's one thing to know about this man, it's that he loves some Air Force Ones. Um, and he told me to wear more color, but here we are. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I am so excited for today. Right? Same. All right, we're officially off to go celebrate Christmas. This was actually a really good idea to put it all in this giant box because that was going to take us macho man. Starbucks time. Also, I've been begging this man to listen to Christmas music literally since November 1st. Ugh. Why are we, you better drink your coffee. We've got a it's day of festivities, hot. man. I've been begging him to listen to Christmas music literally since November 1st and now he finally is for one day. No. He's like, are you kidding me? How many more days of this crap that you have to dress me in? You stop. You are, it's the eyebrows for me. Like, really, what is this? Oh my goodness. Looks like a little elf. <laughs> Shelby's making a, what'd you say this is called? It's like brie, apple, honey, pecan, crustinis. Yum, what is it that you're putting on there? Apple. Tahini or something? Oh, oh it's apple butter. Oh, apple butter. It yeah. doesn't even really sound that good. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's so good. It is hot pepper jelly on cream cheese. Oh, yeah, oh it's literally the best thing cheese. ever. You want me to take over so you can get something to eat, Shell? No, I'm okay. Thanks. Smashed them too much. Well, it has to be able to stay on. Yeah, this looks kind of tasty. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. different kinds of meats and like chicken legs and like a duck. Are you ready for your Christmas gifts? Now you're awake. All right, Lilo and Sadie, we're gonna open some gifts. They, they're gonna take everything for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at him just stare at you. What you think? Want to put his hat on him? Dance on the way. Oh, as long as you're not gonna cry while we. Okay, oh. bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny on him. <laughs> Are you ready? Watch out, Lilo. Lilo. Okay, here are the first ones. Oh, pet fire visit. Yay! Yay! Don't lose that one, probably. Lilo, no. And then this one, I guess, is like a little chew toy chew. for him. Honey, that's good for you. To, to chew Yay. on. And you can grab it with his hands. Yeah. Grabbing. And then, <laughs> for my little baby genius. We've got Ooh. quantum physics. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You can hear that spark wow. <laughs> when it comes to physics. Literally all of them. Rocket science. Oh Rocket God. science That's for so babies. Funny. Man. <laughs> and Lilo, then. Come on, honey. Lilo. Not for you. 
She always sings boxes are for her. This Come little on. wild animal. So cute. Yeah. We went with the animal theme. So cute. That's a cool little like, so like flip book. Yeah. And then another one. This one's the very brave Aww. lion. So cute. And then this one. This one's probably gonna drive y'all nuts, but. Uh, I, yeah, I told her. I said they've got two years until we walk in here with a fire truck. Oh god, the noise. Oh, oh, it's Oh, yay! He likes it. You're gonna, you're gonna make your mom play this 24/7 throughout the day. Is that what you want? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a long song too. <laughs> yeah, that's everything though. Animal theme and quantum physics. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Honey, that's not for you, sweetie. Jay's got his to go play successful little Christmas, right? You're gonna, get my to -go plate. You're gonna definitely gonna get your to go plate. Headed home. I think I need a nap. <laughs> Okay, I'm home from celebrating Christmas with my family. It was so nice. I'm in my comfy Skims pajamas already. It's like 4 p.m. I haven't even made my bed today. So I'm about to do that. I'm about to tidy up. And then I just need to chill. I'm so bad at like recouping and recharging. So I'm going to try and do that for the rest of the night. As I'm already in pajamas, I was like, this will make me just chill. Like, I already took my makeup off. I need to clean up some and, like, kind of just put away some laundry and just take it light. I think I'm going to put on a vlog while I, like, put away some clothes and just light some candles around the apartment and take it easy the rest of the day. But obviously, I didn't have a ton to show you guys. My sister and I caught up a bunch, which was really nice. We hardly ever have, like, just one-on-one -on -one time, and so she was holding Ty while he was sleeping, and we just, like, chatted about all the things, and, like, I was able to catch her up on, like, how L.A. was when I went with Gretchen, and I was able to talk to her just, I don't know, we were able to just talk about all the things, so that was really special, and then the guys all watched sports, and now we're gonna just chill. Jay was like, let's put on comfy clothes, and let's just chillax for the rest of Christmas, so... That sounds perfect and I will see you guys in the morning and yeah, I love y'all. Good morning guys. It's bright and early, 5.45. I'm about to run down to do some cardio at my apartment. I've got my sneakers right here. I set out my workout outfit last night and I'm going to head down there, fill up my water, have my headphones right here and start my day with some cardio. You guys know the pre-workout drill I'm doing um, the rice cakes with a little bit of nut butter which I'm doing the powdered almond butter and then I'm also going to do some hemp hearts for a little bit more protein and then I'm going to put some blueberries on there and then probably some cinnamon all right I just added a little bit of honey on top and I'm gonna have this as my pre-leg day fuel <laughs> was just planning my day out while I sat and had my little snack but my dad got me um, a Starbucks gift card which one look how cute this Starbucks gift card is I love that and then also from my sister brother-in-law Ty and my dad they got me Oxford exchange so here's what I'm thinking I was planning my day out so I'm like I can use Starbucks the next couple days and then Oxford exchange since I want to start this is like a coffee shop and a restaurant and I love it. I've definitely shown this in my vlog, so you guys would recognize it if you saw it. But I could use my Starbucks gift card for the next couple days, and we'll be traveling because we originally were supposed to go to Jay's mom's, and now we're going to go uh, on Wednesday. So for traveling and for the next couple days, I'm sure we can go through that, honestly, in the next couple days because we get Starbucks a lot. And then I'll start my New Year's resolution and have different coffee shops. <laughs> Here's my gym fit for today. So... I've got my little red Merlot set on. It's a Align Sports Bra Align 
little biker shorts and then i have my lululemon scuba my new lululemon joggers that i got the other day and then i have a vest on i'm gonna wear my nike metcons today because i'm gonna do some legs i'm just wearing my little sides right now but i'm gonna throw these in my gym bag make my pre-workout and then we'll head out Do you guys see this vehicle? Not the one right next to me, but the other one. Oh my gosh, I'm mortified. I, one, just had a really good workout. Two, I come out, I'm like, literally, okay, so Jay, he's parked right here. This is his vehicle right here. He was like, I'm parked right next to you, and um, he had to put some stuff in my trunk to take to my sister. And so I walked out, I was thinking that that was my car. It's literally spot on identical to my car. I'm like, why is he not parked next to me? Like, did I get out here before he actually got here or what? I'm like, why is my... Because I normally can, like, unlock my car without taking my keys out because it just, like, senses that my keys are close. So I'm, like, yanking on this door. And then I finally, like, throw my bag down. I'm, like, looking through my bag for my keys. I'm like, why is this not unlocking my car? And so I, I look into it and I see a cup in the middle. And it's not my Stanley cup. It's not the cup that I had in it. And I was like, this is not my vehicle. I'm mortified. So my car was literally two down. It looks spot on identical, same um, tint and everything, absurd. And then Jay is right here. And I like came up to him, I'm like, did you just see me do that? And he's like, I, I didn't see that, but I, I've seen that car here and I've thought it was yours before. Um, so yeah, so that just happened. I really hope because there are so many windows on my gym, um, on the side of my gym that I hope someone was not just sitting there watching me try and get into this car and they're like this girl's trying to get into my vehicle <laughs> I'm sure they understand because they probably would have seen me get into my car or I'm overthinking Okay, long story short had a really good leg day Finished it out on the turf, which it's like pretty chilly out. It's 41 degrees right now But it like brought me back to soccer game days where you're like out in the cold in Michigan And you're like wearing your jumpsuit still like your sweatsuit I don't know, felt like a good little workout, but I'm gonna get gas first, head to my sister, and get a pedicure. No, you thank go. you so much, have, have a good one. This might be when you know you get too much Starbucks is when you keep the little stoppers in your car because if I forget one and it spills all over, I have one, so my pre-workout cup and my Stanley. But I put in my GPS that I needed a Starbucks or a coffee and I didn't realize that it wasn't gonna be one that was a drive-through. So I'm actually downtown in Tampa, but I'm gonna head to my sister now. Time for an Americano on the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Smiley Man. He's my I don't think I need my toes done. I think I'm just gonna hang out with you instead, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you so Does he have more Christmas outfits he needs to be wearing? <laughs>
Need to go through all your Christmas outfits. Well, yeah, until he grows out of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Until he grows out of them. We're gonna keep wearing them. <laughs> oh, quit it! It's the cheeks for me. It's the cheeks for me, Muffin. It's the cheeks for me. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Ah. You're like, I'm so used to having a camera in my face now. This goes nowhere. <laughs> Real men get pedicures. <laughs> Dad is living his ass. Oh. <laughs> Making lunch right now, I just did like this air fried mixture of sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, I like them really crispy, and then some salmon. I originally was gonna do cod, but I ran out of cod. So doing salmon today, and then some tomatoes, and some spring mix. All right, I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of Dijon mustard with it. I put on some coconut aminos. Looks delicious. I'm about to head out to a coffee shop to get some work done, but Look what I got in the mail, some PR from NARS, which I feel like I'm always showing you guys when I get some PR from NARS because I just love their stuff. So this one is a treatment lotion. We've got a firming serum. These look so nice. I love their packaging. It's always like so simple. We've got some eye and lash gel, which I'll probably give this to my sister just because I have eyelash extensions. And then we have light reflecting night treatment. And some moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I love their packaging so much. And here's my outfit to go to the coffee shop. I haven't decided which one I'm going to yet, but I just have this Lululemon half zip on. This is probably one of my favorite things I have from Lulu right now. And then my Lululemon vest. Lululemon, this is a whole Lulu outfit. Lululemon groove pants. And then my hokas, because I'm actually bringing my workout clothes to go to the sauna and Maybe go for a walk later. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna walk on the treadmill when I go to the sauna, but I have a 5.30 sauna appointment at my gym, so I'm definitely going to just stay out until then and get some stuff done. So it's only like two o'clock right now, so we've got plenty of time to get a bunch done. And I ran a straightener through my hair. I went so long without straightening my hair, and now lately that seems to be like the easiest thing to do. I really should start doing like the leggings hair curl trick um, to be lighter on my hair and not have heat on my hair so much, but I barely run a straightener through my hair and then it's plenty straight, so it'll do. I had Jay help me package, or not package, um, load everything up into the back of my car to go ship out all of my giveaway winner stuff and it is an observed holiday. Why does my brain not work sometimes? I literally know that. I know that it is an observed holiday because I was supposed to go to the bank and I ended up going last week so that I didn't have to go today because I knew it was gonna be closed and I did not think that through for the UPS store. So whatever, I'll just leave it all in my car and I will get it shipped out tomorrow. But I'm kind of bummed because that's like, you guys know I hate returning stuff and I hate shipping stuff out. So we've got everything in the back seat and I will do that tomorrow. All right, we're headed into the coffee shop to get some work done. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. I just got done with the sauna and I am feeling really good. I actually walked for a couple minutes before I did the sauna because I was supposed to have it at 5.30 but they let me start a couple minutes early so I was like, I'll just walk for a couple minutes to um, wait rather than just like sit there. So walked on the treadmill, sat in the sauna. It was so nice and so relaxing. My phone was at like 2% so I was like, instead of listening to a podcast or YouTube video 
or something like that and music I will just listen to the little sound machine they have in there which was like waves crashing so nice and like I literally sat there for 20 minutes I've said this before I do not feel like an ounce of stress when I'm in there listening to a sound machine and just like breathing I guess that's why I need to meditate and I I don't even know where to begin with that honestly I know meditation is like so important for you and like can help stress so much I just need to do that I'm horrible with sitting still horrible at like just finding my breath and all the yoga things too like I'm just not good at it I don't I'm not intentional with it I should say not that I'm not good at it um but I think I'm gonna head home and I'm just gonna have the same thing I had for lunch today for dinner so it's nothing exciting to show you guys but I do plan on grocery shopping tomorrow and I do plan on vlogging again tomorrow and that brings up the topic of how I'm dealing with vlogging how vlogmas went how if i'm burnt out all of the things i get so many sweet messages from everyone saying like you must be so burnt out i know vlogmas must have been a lot and like all of those things i will say this much i can understand why youtube can be a full-time job and i do online coaching and i obviously have other social media platforms which most youtubers probably do too like they have a lot to juggle with that but i can totally see how YouTube can be a full-time job it is a lot and it is I mean it's a lot of work there's a lot that goes into it and as a consumer or as someone who watches it or a viewer you don't see all of the behind the scenes things so I do I have appreciation for those of the creators that do this full-time I will say vlogmas made me realize that long-form social media 100% is my favorite I love it. I have a newfound appreciation for my content and my creations that go into it. And like with Vlogmas, it was a little bit hard to like put a ton of effort into each video. And like I think I did a good job with it. I hope I did a good job with it. But I couldn't like put a ton of really, I don't know, like I could not have done more like creativity in each video because it's like okay you've got to record and then you've got to get it up the next day you know what i mean like rather than putting a ton of effort into like making sure i get all the right angles like i just kind of i i got what i could out of each day without burning myself out and a lot of people saying like are you burnt out from from doing vlogmas and i have loved it it almost feels like second nature to just like throw my camera up and just chat with y'all and I think that I was able to connect with so many more people throughout Vlogmas and it just made me realize that there's so much more to this than just like showing a couple clips throughout my day like I'm connecting with real people on the other side of these screens and like just seeing you guys post my videos up on your TV in your living room like I am there with you I have chills just thinking about it because it's like you guys choose to consume my content and what goes into your mental health is so important and like you need to be so cautious and intentional with what you consume and that goes for the content that you take in every day and you don't even realize how much that contributes to your mental health and choosing me and, and I'm hoping that I am like this light in your corner of the internet and like I hope that you're able to either feel inspired or feel calm or feel comfort or whatever it might be that you find my social media brings you I'm just thankful for it and I'm not burnt out crazy enough I'm not burnt out I have literally vlogged every single day since before Thanksgiving I mean I literally don't think I've taken a day off because I I vlogged on Thanksgiving I vlogged in Cleveland I vlogged up until vlogmas I mean literally all throughout vlogmas and I just I love it I love the creativity that goes behind it and I love sharing my life and I love connecting with you guys and it's a lot don't get me wrong that like some days I'm like Whew, okay it's hard to show everything when like a lot of my day is sitting at a computer and like I feel like I'm not doing enough to you know give you guys what you want to see but at the end of the day like I've heard nothing but amazing things throughout this time like there was not one person saying this has bored me like so many people were like I've looked forward to this every single day and I just oh I just love you guys so much it just blows my mind and that being said like 
I'm definitely gonna do more than just once a week vlogging, whether it's a week in my life and a weekend in my life, or I'm gonna do like a couple of videos throughout the week, like a couple of days in my life. I think one day in my life all the time and like doing it every single day, I don't have enough to show you. I don't do enough exciting things. A lot of my days are repetitive and I do the same type of thing. Like I go to the gym, sometimes I go to the grocery store, sometimes I get some packages in, I spend a lot of time with my boyfriend, with my family, and I sit at a computer a lot. So, uh, long story short, I just love you guys. I'm so thankful for you, and like, I don't feel burnt out, so I'm gonna keep riding this wave. If I need to take a break, then I'm gonna take a break for a couple days. But right now, I feel good, and I'm excited to get you guys ramped up for the new year, and like, we can be motivated together. This is a six minute clip. It just hit six minutes. I need to shut up. I love you guys. I think I'm gonna end off this vlog right here because it's gonna be long. I hope you guys had such a Merry Christmas or holiday. Um, if you didn't celebrate Christmas, just time with your family, hopefully, and I know that sometimes the holidays can be a really hard and heavy time, and I can I can relate to that on the level of, you know, whether you have divorced parents um, and you don't get to see some of the people that you love so much, that's a really hard time. Uh, a lot of times it's a reminder of, you know, who was missing during our holidays, which also I can relate to um, after having a loss and holidays just don't seem the same sometimes without some of those people but they're in our hearts and I love you guys. I'm sending you guys love. If you had a great holiday or if you had a really hard holiday, we are gonna get ready for the new year together. I'm excited to take on 2023 with you. 2022 has been absolutely amazing and I'm not even gonna get into that right now because we still have more vlogs before the new year, but I love you guys and I will see y'all tomorrow because we're gonna vlog tomorrow too. Bye guys.